Touch screens have become a part of our daily lives. They're a popular and easy way to order food at convenience stores and restaurants. But are we also ordering up a bunch of unwanted germs? Mm. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff takes a closer look. Food at our fingertips. With the advent of touch screen ordering, customers increasingly tap into their hunger's desire with a click on a kiosk. Yeah, I'm just going to do a drink. Often this food is eaten soon or immediately after that order is complete. So what else might we be picking up along with our meals? I don't think people really notice or think about how much bacteria probably gets on those things. With thousands of touchscreen orders processed each day at any given store, we wanted to find out. That'd be really interesting. I've never thought about it before now. I'm always thinking about germs wherever I touch, wherever I go. So armed with swabs and instructions, I set out on a non-scientific test to see what, if any, germs exist on our beloved touchscreens. Got my swab already. We're just time for the first test. Let's see. It. Documented with a camera phone, we collected data by swabbing the touchscreen menus inside of three popular chain stores in our area. The locations were chosen at random, and we did not hide what we were doing. Okay, Hi, good. Okay, he's taking a little test of this here. These samples were sealed as instructed and sent to a lab in South Jersey. Here are the results. Only one of the three screens came back clean. The second touchscreen menu turned up with fungus, both penicillium and yeast species, which can cause allergic reactions in sensitive individuals. The third test came back with a large population of Pantoa agglomerans, a bacteria that is common to plants and feces. That third kiosk also contained an extremely large amount of Acinobacter species, a bacteria that can prove dangerous to hospitalized patients. I don't Super think you true. think twice about it, and really it's pretty disgusting. Although I think some of them do have hand sanitizer containers right next to them, but I don't know if that helps too much. I spoke with microbiologist Dr. Michael Szynski about these findings. He said the same kind of bacteria and fungi can be found on other common surfaces that we all touch daily. He added that these findings are not a reason to panic, but it is a good reason to wash your hands after you order off of that touch screen. Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.